Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we'll tell you about all that's being discussed about the shared pictures of Venus by the Soviet Union. Let's get started. There aren't many high-quality pictures of Venus, and even fewer were taken from the planet's surface. Distance isn't the only reason why there aren't many pictures of Earth's second-closest neighbor world. The best pictures of Venus's surface were taken more than 40 years ago by a Soviet rocket. 40 years is a very long time when it comes to exploring space. The distance between Earth and Venus is just over 200 million miles. Even though this is a long way away, it's only about 12 million miles, or 19 million kilometers, farther than Mars. And we've done a lot of exploring on Mars's surface. The second closest planet to Earth has a lot more mysteries than you might think, given how close the two worlds are. It is sometimes called Earth's sister, or twin planet because its makeup is similar to Earth's and its size is almost the same as Earth's. This makes the world interesting. In theory, it could have changed to become something like Earth, but that's not even close to what happened. Many failed trips to Venus show that it is a dangerous place to go. The only successful one of the first nine trips to Venus was a flyby made by NASA's Mariner 2 probe. In 1965, the Soviet Venera 3 rocket went to Venus and did a good job of it. This was the first time the Soviet Union was able to hit Venus successfully. Their eight previous attempts had all failed. In the same year, Venera 4 studied the atmosphere. In 1970, the first safe landing on Venus was made by the Venera 7 spacecraft. The Venera 8 came out two years after the Venera 6. In 1975, the Venera 9 spacecraft went around Venus and arrived there safely. After that, the Soviet Union sent nine more spaceships to Venus. The last one to land there was the Vega 2, which did so in 1984. The Venera 9, Venera 10, Venera 13, and Venera 14 spacecraft took the best pictures of Venus ever taken by humans. These pictures can be seen on the Planetary Society's website. On the other hand, NASA has proven its worth in the field of space research. Its Pioneer Venus 2 mission to impact Venus in 1978 went off without a hitch, but it has never been able to land on Venus. The Da Vinci spacecraft is being made by NASA so that it can study the atmosphere in 2031. After that, it will go on two more trips in the next few years. The Da Vinci mission will focus on studying the rise through the atmosphere, but it may also collect data about the surface for a few minutes. The surface temperature of Venus varies from about 820 to 900 degrees Fahrenheit, or 437 to 482 degrees Celsius. This is why it is so hard for life to survive there. The land of Venus is not a good place to live, because of how hot it is and how much pressure is in the air. Even though Mars is not easy to study, its average surface temperature of negative 81 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 63 degrees Celsius makes it much easier for engineering. As for Venus's atmosphere, it has more than 75 times the pressure of Earth's. Even though Earth and Venus have almost the same amount of gravity, Venus's atmosphere is much more dense and much thicker than that of Earth. The main reason why the greenhouse effect is getting worse is because of carbon dioxide. Both Earth and Venus have about the same amount of carbon dioxide in the air, but Venus doesn't have the natural limits that Earth does, like plants, seas, and carbonate rocks. The only place that carbon dioxide can go is into the air. There are processed versions of Venus with bent horizon lines, black and white versions, versions with color, and processed versions with straight horizon lines. In addition to these forms of Venus, there are also versions that have been changed so that the horizon lines are curved. Even if Venus doesn't burn up a rocket right away, it will probably still crush it. The Venera 13 spacecraft is the one that has been on Venus the longest. It has been there for an amazing 127 minutes. 
Because Venus's atmosphere is so thick, you can't see the planet's surface from outside its atmosphere, at least not in the visible range. Images taken with visible light can only be gotten by landing on the planet's surface, which is a very hard thing to do. On the surface, there is no way to stay alive. If, in the future, people can take better pictures from the surface of Venus, it will have been a long time coming. Let's talk about the Venera operations, which took place between 1961 and 1983. More than a third of the 30 spacecraft that have successfully flown by or orbited Venus were made by the country that used to be called the Soviet Union. They were all part of the Venera line of robotic probes. The flights that went to the second planet from our Sun and were called Venus in Russian were called Venera. They were launched between 1961 and 1983. There were a total of 28 spacecraft sent into space. 13 of them got through Venus's atmosphere, and 8 of them arrived safely on the surface. The Soviet program was the first to land a spacecraft gently on another planet, the first to send back pictures and sounds from the surface of another planet, and the first to send a spaceship down into the atmosphere of a planet other than Earth. Roscosmos, which is the Russian government's space agency, is currently working on the first new Venera mission to be flown since the fall of the Soviet Union. The Venera D spacecraft will be a model for future trips to Venus. It is sent to launch in 2029 and will have both an orbiter and a lander. Due to a series of upper stage launch problems, the Soviet Union's first seven attempts between February 1961 and March 1964 to send a spacecraft to Venus failed almost as soon as they were started. The Soviet space program gave these early trips an alphanumeric name. The name Venera was only used for flights that left the orbit around Earth. After being sent into space on February 12, 1961, Venera 1 lost its ability to talk while it was on its way to Venus. The Venera 2 spacecraft was the first of the probes to safely fly by Venus. It did this three months after it was launched on November 12, 1965, but it couldn't send back any information about the trip. The Venera 3 spacecraft, which was sent into space on November 16, 1965, just four days after the Venera 2 spacecraft, was made to fall into Venus's atmosphere. Again, the link was lost before the data about the entry could be sent back to Earth. However, on March 1, 1966, the spacecraft was the first to crash on another planet. After yet another failed launch in November 1965, the Soviet Union chose to stop trying to reach Venus for two years while it figured out a new plan. Venera 4, which had been sent into space on June 12, 1967, was the first probe to safely return data from deep within Venus's atmosphere. It did so on October 18, 1967. The data of the Venera 4 mission showed that the vast majority of Venus's atmosphere was made up of carbon dioxide, with only small amounts of nitrogen, oxygen, and water vapor. Both the Venera 5 and the Venera 6, which came out five days apart in January of 1969, were better versions of the Venera 4. Each spacecraft sent out a small capsule with scientific equipment inside that was meant to use a parachute to fall through the atmosphere of Venus. Each one worked for about 30 minutes before giving up, because of the crushing pressure of Venus's atmosphere. The Soviet Union's Venera 7 probe, which was sent into space on December 15, 1970, was the first to land safely on another planet and the first to send back information from the surface. About 23 minutes after landing, Venera 7 finally died from the heat and pressure. The Venera 8 spacecraft was the first journey from the Soviet Union to Venus that went well. After landing on July 22, 1972, the probe worked for the full 50 minutes it was supposed to. During that time, it sent information about how much light got to the surface and confirmed the temperature and pressure readings taken by Venera 7. In the far future, maybe we'll get to see much more detailed pictures of Venus. And that's all for today, guys. Leave a like and comment down your thoughts. 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.